Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to look at some more division today. We're going to use both the place value chart and relate it to the standard algorithm, the traditional way that uh, people will divide using a division box. Our objective today says I can show division of a two-digit number by a one-digit number in a place value chart and relate it to the standard algorithm for division. So we're going to show 72 divided by 3 in a place value chart and with the standard algorithm. So we'll start first with the place value chart. So I have 72 that I'm dividing into three equal groups. So 72 is, has a number in the tens place and the ones place. So when I create my place value chart, I'm going to have a tens place and a ones place. 72 has 7 in the tens place and 2 in the ones place. So I'm going to start by putting 7 tens in my place value chart. You can use circles, X's, boxes, whatever you want when you're creating a place value chart. I'm going to use filled in circles today. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. Notice that I put my number in a group of five. I stopped at five and then put six and seven on the next row. The reason why I do that is because it makes it easier for me to recognize numbers less than five or see groupings of five that I might bundle up to make 10 if I needed to bundle or unbundle, or in other words, carry or borrow. So I've put my seven tens in my place value chart. Now I'm gonna look at my ones place. I have two ones. So I'm going to put two ones in my place value chart. One, two. Now I have my 72 in my place value chart. I want to show that I'm dividing it by three. I'm dividing into three equal groups. So I have three equal groups below with a tens place and a ones place. One, two, three equal groups. When dividing, we always start with the largest place value. So I know with adding and subtracting, we always start with the smallest place value, but we want to start with the largest place value with division in case we need to unbundle, in case we need to shift some of my tens to my ones place or hundreds to tens place or something like that. If we want to do some kind of exchange or shift so that we can keep sharing equally and uh, putting the same values in each of our groups. So we're going to start with the larger of the two place values, and in this case that's the tens place. So I'm going to take my seven tens, and I'm going to evenly share them, share them equally between these th three groups. So I'll start counting out these seven until I've made an equal share. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I have one more, but if I put that one ten in any one of these groups, then that one group would be unbalanced. It would be greater by 10 than the other two groups, and that would not be an equal share. And division is all about an equal share. So what do I do? Well, I'm going to take that 10, and I'm going to exchange it for 10 ones. One 10 is the same thing as 10 ones. And if I do that, then I can continue sharing. I'll share that 10 as 10 ones and I'll continue sharing with my three equal groups that way. So I'm going to exchange that 110 for 10 ones and now I'm going to continue with my equal share. So this is the same value that I had before. I had 110 and two ones and I still have one group of 10 and two ones. So I didn't change my value. I just regrouped. I just exchanged or swapped or took advantage of our place value system. So now I have 12 ones, and I want to share them equally among three groups. So like before, I'm just going to start counting those out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I still have three left, so I can keep going. 10, 11, 12. I've shared all 12 of those equally. And you can see if I divide 72 by 3, then each of my groups holds or contains two tens, and four ones. Every single one of these has two tens and four ones. Two tens and four ones. So I have performed an equal share. I have performed division. So 72 divided by 3 is two tens and four ones, or 24. Now this method, using the place value chart, is awesome. Do you want to do it every time you divide for the rest of your life? No. It's not as efficient as other methods, such as the standard algorithm. Will it help you arrive at a correct answer? Absolutely. Is it a, w a place to start? Absolutely. Is it what you want to do forever? No. So let's relate this to the 
uh, standard algorithm, what we traditionally see when we see division, where we use a division box. So back from the beginning, I have 72 that I want to divide by 3. So here's 72, just like I did before, divided into three equal groups. This is exactly the same. We're doing going to follow the same process. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my tens place. I have seven tens, and I want to share that equally among three groups. Okay, I want to share seven with three. Oh, I could put two in each group, just like I did. I can put two in each group, which means I used uh, two, two in each group, and I have three groups. So two times three, I used up six of those tens. So seven tens minus six tens, I still have one left, just like we saw. I still have one left. What do I do with that? Well, I pair it up with my ones. I use it with my ones. So in the standard algorithm, we typically say bring down the next digit. Well, what we're doing is we're combining the 10 that we had left over with the ones. And so notice that we still have one 10, so one group of 10, and two ones. One group, one 10 and two ones. Now I'm thinking to myself, I have 12, 12 ones. 12 ones, or 1, 10, and 2 ones, and I want to share that equally in three groups, still wanting to divide it by 3. So when I do that, I can put 4 in each group. So I put that 4 above the ones place, because I have 4 ones in each group. Well, 4 ones times 3 groups, I used all 12 of those ones that I had, and I have nothing left, so I'm done with my division. So when 72 is shared equally into three groups, each group holds two tens and four ones, or 24. So each group has two tens and four ones. 72 divided by three gives me two tens and four ones. Uh, so as you can see, we met our objective. I can show division of a two-digit number by a one-digit number in a place value chart and relate it to the standard algorithm for division. Thanks for watching.